So lately I've been really taken with an idea involving the character Apollo from the YouTube web series Diminish. If you haven't seen it, it's really weird. If you have seen it, then this is gonna be really weird. But the idea was, what if Apollo was a Pokémon in Pokémon Platinum, and you could use them in a Pokémon Platinum playthrough? And I've been wanting to do a Pokémon Platinum playthrough for a while now because Gen 4 kind of slipped through the cracks for me, and... So I hacked Apollo into the game and now I'm gonna play! To a lot of you, this is all probably still quite confusing, so let's just jump right in. Here we go. Let's see what we shall see here. Okay, so you're Teddy. A fine name that is, you bet your ass. Uh, <laughs> I actually, I have a great... I can't believe I didn't think about this before. <laughs> Justin, is it? That's your friend's name? Let's get all the animations in there, and I'm gonna do what, um... Something I've never done before, and go with the set battle style so I can't switch between opponents' Pokemon fainting. Here we are, it's the Contest Digest. The winner of today's normal rank tough contest is Dominic, who overwhelmed with his awesomely buffed Pokemon. Has anyone ever described any being like that before? Uh, mandatory, first thing. Technology just blows me away. I mean, now you can play with people around the world wirelessly. Today we turn our focus on Twin Leaf Town's best three features. I can think of three. First, number three, the <laughs> There isn't a number two, just two number ones. So what are they? One at a time, everybody's favorite. A <laughs> oh my god, I, I don't know if I ever saw this. That's Teddy's house. Also coming in first. Oh, another two-story house. It's Justin's house, the kind of place people aspire to own. Oh my god, that was good. I really appreciate that. We, we do hope you found the Trend Tracker show in I did. I loved the Trend Tracker show. Hey, a Teddy, you're looking for Justin? He just went tearing off a little while ago. He's probably not gone too far. Why not go chase after him? Well, that would be a role reversal, wouldn't it? Oh! Hold it. It's Phoenix Wright. Oh. Uh, it's Phoenix Wright after a long career. <laughs> Quill Shot is asking me to do a kip up. This, this does seem appropriate. Easy choice for me. Uh, I, I love Piplup, and I don't think I will be using Piplup in my party past um, the Piplup phase, so... Okay, so I have tested out this fight a few times. I don't know if it's, if it's the specific ROM that I have, but it seems that the RNG is pretty set to do the exact same thing every single time, and I have only found, like, one way to do this and, and actually win. That's one. What? Okay, that's more like it. That was two. Okay, he's tackling way more than I've ever seen before. Before, every single time I had to try this fight, and I had to try it many times because I had to do a lot of testing, Turtwig at most did one tackle and much later in the phases because this fight, it seems, starts off usually with just nothing but withdrawals. Okay, so we should be mostly good here. No way, we can keep going! This is where we hit our stride! Ho -ho! Also, usually, he misses at least one tackle, so... See ya, Teddy! Ho -ho! <laughs> What's the matter, dear? <laughs> Why are you following me around the house? That damn fourth Chaos Emerald! Allow me to pass! Step aside! Please move! Please! <laughs> Please move! Kayaun! Trainer tips! Don't be shy, talk to anyone and everyone you happen to see. By talking to people, you will get invaluable information and advice and severe social exhaustion. You look like you work at a Pokemon Mart. <laughs> That's what I thought. Little guy, he's not so scary as much as he is totally out there! Oh! It doesn't matter to you, I'm out of here, see you later! <laughs> mm, interesting, that Piplup was no mistake, it seems. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? We named it Burb. When I saw you two about to step into the tall grass without Pokemon, I was shocked. I was appalled. I was a little turned on. I feel privileged to have met you. That's very kind. I'm sure Piplup feels the same way, but I just nicknamed it. Say, say their name. That's why I'll ask you to cherish, say their name. Boy, am I glad you're kind toward Pokemon. If you weren't, well, I'd have to kick your ass. <laughs> just, it's just a, a short, awkward silence. Hmm. I would never notice how many times he says hmm until I until I'm actually verbalizing it. Hi, 
I'm Lucas as fuck. What? Fine. <clears throat> There's more stuff to examine in there, but. Teddy! Hey, Teddy! I want to show you a few things. D don't, don't follow him, Teddy. And indeed, I will heal my Piplup because we have a task ahead of us. But first, let's do some RPG stuff. The top floor of any Pokemon Center is the Pokemon Communication Club. There, you can have all sorts of fun with your friends. <laughs> okay, it's about time, everybody. Are you ready? Teddy feels a very strange presence, but so familiar. So that's the Pokemon that was replaced. Unfortunately, because I, I tried to change the name and like it's saved in there, but it doesn't seem to actually work correctly. <laughs> They've got plenty of spikes with them. <laughs> They're turning this region into Broken Meadows itself. There we go. Burb's attack harshly fell. Okay, perfect, that's one HP. That's as good as it's gonna get. I didn't buy any Pokeballs. Sorry everybody, we'll be right back. I just gotta run away with my scarf between my legs. Yeah, we're gonna need as many as we can get. Spoilers. <laughs> because I allowed, I didn't change the, uh, the catch rate from Groudon's catch rate. Okay, round two. Sorry about that. Okay, but there could be a complication here. No. Interesting. Okay. You'll, you'll probably see what I mean at some point. Okay, I want you to charm me twice. This is a level 2 Pokémon outspeeding a level 7 fast starter. Okay. I think I should be safe to attack again, as long as it's not a crit. Okay, Apollo is just gonna respawn at the lamp and come back. Celine says, I want Apollo to charm me twice, is definitely a mood. Burb was too strong for Apollo. Just level 3, so much more of a tank. This is taking a bit longer than the level 2. I do need 1 HP. I need, I need 1 HP. Okay, this should put me at 1, right? As long as it doesn't crit. Okay, that's 1. Alright, I'm gonna try and count how many balls I throw. Here's the first one. So how have y'all been? <laughs> Salid says, Apollo, please, our needs are your journey. Apollo will not join us until they can flex as much as they want. Okay, so there's the first three shake. If it if that if the first three shake had resulted in the catch, I would have flipped out. All right, we're getting low here. It's looking like we're gonna have to try again with a fresh set of 18 balls. I, I would have absolutely freaked if I had, if I had gotten them in the first set of balls. Okay, we're approaching the end of the second set. So after this, it's gonna be okay. This is ball number 35. Ah, uh, here's number 36. Let's change the RNG again. Two growls this time. So last night, actually, the last time... <sighs> they like to sneak it in. The last time I tested um, the ROM last night, when I was testing out the Cry, I stood there with the emulator more sped up than it is now for about 25 minutes and I could not catch Apollo. I have caught Apollo before, uh, two or three times, so I know it's more than possible, but I know how long it can go. But yeah, for me, this has always been part of the Pokemon experience. Let's growl four times. After this, I'll try another, uh, another Apollo. Okay, I will spare this Apollo. This Apollo wins. Apollo gets a moment to recharge their muscles a little bit from, from all of that. Okay, starting off by nerfing our attack. Oh, and here we go. Here's a problem. So this Apollo is holding 
not only throwing spikes at us, but they have one in them, and it's been transferred over to my burb. Most Apollos are going to have a sticky barb, unfortunately, so let's keep looking. There's another one. Another sticky barb. So the problem here is that if I try and just, like, give up attacking and start throwing balls, Apollo is still going to hurt themselves with a sticky barb every turn, and um, eventually faint themselves, and so it's not really a good attempt. And also it's better to just be able to have them on 1 HP from the get-go. Seeing if it has a sticky barb. Okay, it doesn't. No crits, please. I should have saved state already. Let's change the RNG. Good thing I saved stated. Yep, there's one HP. Okay, save another state. We're going again. This is going to be the sixth batch of balls that we're throwing. Hope you all are enjoying this. <laughs> I knew that this could be what's happening. I, I accepted this. Um, I had many chances to change Apollo's catch rate. We're approaching cycle 7 here. And with that, we have thrown a... six sets of 18 balls. If I change Groudon's catch rate, I'll have to make an entirely new ROM and have to go through the entire intro again. At this point, this is, this is all part of the journey. <laughs> We're going to earn our Apollo. We're going to earn our Apollo as we head into... cycle number 8. Uh, I think the maybe the only Apollos that I've caught have been level 2. That I, th I think that makes a giant difference. Yeah, so I think that it being a level 3 is a gigantic difference. Yeah, because the amount of 2 shakes that I've gotten is around about the amount of 3 shakes that I would get on level 2. Is Hi Glitch, welcome. Liberty says, was the death, was the death counter in diminished accurate? Yes. Yes! <laughs> I think I'm going to move into my room now. <sighs> it's, it's so much more satisfying that it was also a level 3 Apollo that, that ended up being the one that I caught because it really did seem to be uh, a large factor into why that was so hard. Here they are. I did change the actual Pokemon name in the program that I used to do all this editing, um, like all the data editing, not not the visual stuff. And um, I so I changed the name from Groudon to Apollo, and I changed the description from Continent Pokemon to Not a Pokemon. Um, and I even tried some other iterations in the testing where I, I made it all one word instead. I just made it not Pokemon, because I wondered if that was the reason, but it still didn't work, so I think it's just some stuff that I couldn't really work around, unfortunately. Which is interesting that seemingly, like, the basic, the most basic information I couldn't get working. Uh, not sure why. Apollo. Not a Pokemon. They came from the solar winds of a dying star to guide and to learn. Alright, let's check out our level 3 Apollo, original trainer, Teddy. Uh, yeah, Apollo's HP is 24 at level 3. Let's take a look at Piplup's HP right now. At level 7, 25. Flower Gift. Yep, so we got an Apollo with the ability Flower Gift. There are two types of abilities that Apollo can have. And right now, you'll see our next issue. <laughs> the, only, the only attacks they have, as they were showing us, are non-attacking moves, non-damaging moves. So, uh... While Apollo remembers how to punch, we're gonna need to... Yep, Beer Force says, time to switch train until Apollo gets an actual attack. Gotta get that belt, yep. Um, and by the way, let's freaking save. Oh, by the way, um, how many balls do I have left? I have six, so I used 12 in that iteration, so 18 times 7 plus 12. I caught Apollo on the 138th ball. And I'll save another state just to be safe. Excellent. And yeah, there's there's the little custom logo uh, that has red eyes because of the palettes. Celine helped me a little bit with this one. <sighs> okay, are you all ready for some switch training? Because <laughs> that was that was uh, that was way too exciting. Now we need to slow it down a little bit. 
There they are. Hey! Well done, Burb. Burblerd Bubble! Let's go, Burb! There we go. Apollo's level 4. Max HP plus 5. Speed plus 4. Special defense plus 2. I didn't I didn't see what Apollo's nature's was. So those level 4 stats are... You know, they're a thing. There we go. Apollo learned Force Palm. We have our first attacking move with the boy. And let's check out the nature. So you can already tell by Apollo's stats that they're a glass cannon. Um, they have very, very low defense. And they're supposed to have... A, a barely higher special defense. I don't want one of their stronger attributes to be sacrificed for one of their weaker ones. Oh, is Sirius one of the even ones? Okay, that's fine with me. I, I am curious as to what their EVs are, or uh, IVs. I, I can't really check that in an IV table. This is a 100% custom Pokemon. Wait, did it actually- They're somewhat vain! Happily eats anything? <laughs> somewhat vain? No way! Serious and somewhat vain. That's actually amazing. Yeah, I can't believe it. Um, if it had been like serious nature, somewhat vain, and likes to run, like that would have been dead solid perfect. Happily eats anything. I could, I could, I could kind of see that. They happily eat sticky notes and carrots. <laughs> Let's get Apollo up to level five before we move on. They have a very good fighting type move, so we don't have to worry too much. The only thing about Force Palm is it only has 10 PP. Max HP plus 5, speed plus 3. So, level 5 I've always used as a benchmark. Whenever a Pokemon at level 5 has any stat aside from HP that is, like, above 10, that's pretty strong. And if it's at 13, that's, like, incredible. At level 5, Apollo has 21 speed and 17 attack. Oh wow, Pokemon are so cool! You, you just realized upon looking at me. Look, Apollo, it's an ocean. Pokemon! Battle! Watch! Gotta catch them all! It's the Catch That Pokemon show! So let me tell you about this show's featured Pokemon catching trainer. The trainer- oh god. The trainer that caught our eye with a dandy of a catch is none other than the inestimable Teddy. And what you may ask yourself, did Teddy catch? <clears throat> nice one, Teddy. That's one slick takedown for your first catch. The Pokemon was nabbed with an expertly thrown Pokeball. And out of 12 thrown, it... Yeah, if only you knew. If only you knew. Yow, Teddy! You're the last word and cool. You're so cool, you're at... Wow. Actually, that... That appeals to me. That... That appeals to me. I love... Absolute Zero is so cool. Listen up, folks. You go out and emulate Teddy. We do lots of emulating around here. Apollo attracting all the burbs. Welcome home, Teddy. Are you and your Pokemon healthy? I just made dinner. Take a quick rest, dear. Oh, How do you leave this? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know. Teddy, I've got something you'll find useful. It's the soup of the day. <laughs> That's a journal. It keeps a record of everything that you're feeling about everything. Teddy, please take this to Justin for me. I got the parcel. Oh, whoa, um, I haven't even left yet. I have, we, we, you're telling me about the things that you do while I'm gone on my adventure. I haven't left yet, Mom. Oh man, she's already beside herself with grief. How am I supposed to leave now? <clears throat> anyway, I'm leaving. I just realized, um, Apollo being electric fighting does not have much to do with bug types yet. Apollo versus Bidoof, a battle against two gods. So true, so true. That official Bidoof uh, animation made me kind of cry. Their defense doesn't seem to be as bad as I was thinking it would be. Their defense base stat is 35, which I thought was low. It probably is. Teddy, do you know how to catch a Pokemon? <sighs> if only he knew what I have been through. My god, I should be the one teaching you. Are you kidding me? I threw 138 balls to catch my first Pokemon, alright? You did it! <clears throat> you also caught a god, well done. And that's how it's done. There we go, I want to see if there... Will there be a Shinx here? Mm, maybe. Are there Shinxes here? Kitty! Oh! Let's go with the non-stab move, please don't crit. 
there'll, there'll be more here, but Shinx is also just the, the first time I saw Shinx in Legends Arceus, my heart exploded. I didn't realize they were one of my favorite Pokemon until I saw them in, in, in Legends Arceus. Um, Arceus. Whatever. Uh, this will be Fart's Liberty. <laughs> I guess it's fitting because uh, Luxray is your favorite Pokemon. But normally I don't use Pokemon that are like commonly used or used by gym leaders, and I'm sure that Luxray is used often. And thank you for the name redemption, Liberty. Liberty would like this Shinx to be named Farts. A tradition unlike a tradition unlike a tradition unlike any other. There you go. I'm really happy with how the cry turned out. You're a Pokemon trainer and so am I! Our eyes met, so battle we must! Youngster Yoda would like to battle! <laughs> oh man, oh but that's, that's why Force Palm is such a good move. This is your time. Get him, farts. <laughs> perfect. That's perfect. That was destiny. Oh, uh, more Apollo fodder. Poor thing. Yeah, that's another thing about Apollo. Uh, they're gonna grow levels really, really, really slowly. And so I allowed them to be really strong to, to sort of um, allow that to balance it out. Crit. Hmm. I, I, I needed the crit, not the paralysis. <laughs> A little late on the crit, people. <laughs> 5 HP. <laughs> Apollo learned double team. They are a fast lad. <laughs> I see. In Sinnoh, in fact, there are criminals stealing the Pokémon of others. Never heard of that before. I have, therefore, been on the lookout for characters arousing my... suspicion. <clears throat> Perhaps you can make use of this! If you were to see me again, I ask that you do not talk to me, for I am on duty. Actually, yes, yes, you may, sp you may speak to me. You must! <laughs> I, I want to give these, these lads something interesting to look at. I thought there was less water in this bottle than there is. That was not part of the bit. Pokemon are wonderful, deeply mysterious creatures, but to train her, the key thing is to do battle with their Pokemon. That's what it boils down to. Yeah, it's it's disturbing. Check it out! Oh, I thought he was about to show me something. <laughs> well, the thing about the trainer school is that I think sometimes there are people in there that can give you items. Uh, oh! I, I'm already glad I came in here. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, spicy. Meatballs. Oh, and use quick attack! That's really smart! Too bad it only did six damage! This one's not gonna go as well for you. That's very... In in thank Such a unique item. Hey, Daddy! Did you come to study, too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. After all, it's a trainer's job to avoid having the precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So, Teddy, what brings you? Huh? You've got something for me? Oh! -ha! It's a town map! Huh? Why are there two in here? I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here, Teddy, you take one! You see, I invented and now manufacture Poketches! Not only that, I'm now conducting the Poketch promotional campaign! All you have to do is find three clowns in Jubilife City. Hi. I know it's a little sudden, but would you like to join a cult? I, I, I want to try the Pro ZD. Uh, sparkles! Some items become effective as soon as they are held by a Pokemon! Tenants. David Tenants wanted. Looker did come this way. That's. They, they had to know what they were doing, right? That can't be a coincidence. Let's roll out my question! Just like Pokemon types, the moves of Pokemon also have types? Boom! It's on the bottom screen. You can't see it. Hi! Oh, hello, darlings. Isn't my Poketch quite fetching? A trainer would be simply lost without a Poketch, after all! Yeah, two, a two-room condominium building. Excellent stuff. 
Also, I just remembered a Badoo is one of the very few Pokemon that I have encountered randomly that was shiny. <laughs> yes, sir, an old rod is a good thing. Please don't continue speaking. You think so too, am I right? If I say yes, will you stop talking to me? Yes, good answer, we could be fra- Oh, Jesus. Here you go, that's- That's my old rod! Oh, and by the way, did you need any tips on using my rod? Please stop. When you're fishing for Pokemon, the first hurdle- I- I need police. Sir, please? Did- did you- did- did- why- why did you just ignore all of that? This is going to give me so much experience. If this survives, then I will absolutely catch it. Oh. I wonder if it's possible for any of these Magikarp to survive a Force Palm. If so, I'm gonna catch one. A resilient lad. You really have to work a lot harder to get a nibble in this, in this game, don't you? Wow. In Gen 3, it happens like immediately. Like every time. Really, dude? Bruh. What is happening? Is this normal? Did I catch the only fish in this entire area. Oh, this one might survive. Liberty says, I mean, all you're using is an old man's rod, so I imagine it's not that appealing to the fish. You have a point. Do you have what it takes? You do have what it takes! This is our boy. You're coming with me, buddy. A Magikarp living for many years can leap a mountain using Splash. The move remains useless, though. Ah, uh, Beer Force redeeming a name, so guaranteeing that this Magikarp will be named Dagron. <laughs> That's awesome. I, I guess I'm contractually obligated to evolve it now, aren't I? <laughs> Even though Gyarados is one of the most commonly used Pokemon out there. I'll beat you with the Magikarp my dad gave me. Uh, I feel like this child is about to learn something about the world. Does your Magikarp even have a move other than Splash? I will give you a chance to show me. Check out my awesomeness. I will give you one more chance to show me that you intended to beat me with your father's magic card. Sorry. Back? Basically, I was just giving this, uh, this lad here a chance to really drive home the point that he truly believed that he was going to beat me with his father's Magikarp that only knew Splash. Let's just, uh, let's, let's just, we'll, we'll give him another, another chance to confirm this. Uh, maybe that this is not true and that he actually, you know, has a brain cell. Yeah, maybe this is his dad's fault. Your first Pokemon is the one with the most fond memories, I think. Uh, I think in this case... We're, we're, we're kind of a... Anyway, have a nice day. Zubat, the, everyone's favorite Pokemon. Apollo is so fast and beautiful. Yep, this worked. This worked out just fine for me. Okay, yeah, defense and special defense are lagging significantly behind in a way that is uh, significant for level 9. Definitely gonna want to have another attacking move soon. The one that I will probably replace is Spikes. <laughs> Let's see what's in here, though. Any Pokemon? That was quite a drought. Oh, hey! Plenty of water Pokemon around here. Sorry. Let's see if I can find one that can survive the first Force Palm. Okay, level 5. Let's, let's see what they got. We're making their head hurt. I do not give a single sh about you. This may be a lost cause. Beer Force says, will, will there be a Combhead Pokemon? I never considered that. I get to replace all the unknown with just the same comb, comb boy. Gopalo. Liberty says, I hope the Comb Boys make a comeback sometime, or should I say, a comeback. Where are the Psyducks? Anyway, I, I do intend to catch a Psyduck, so any ideas for a Psyduck name? I'm... Uh, it is a boy, I, I feel like calling it Bill, because <laughs> that one's never been done before. I think I might go with mine here. Frisky is about to jump up. This this could prove to be a disaster. You're gonna step on my power- Uh, 
No, yeah. Wait. You did not. So I guess in between now and next time I stream this, I'll be working my way back to where I was.